How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we will be playing a classic game. Released for the Game Boy Advance, we'll be playing through Metroid Zero Mission, but this is a little bit different than our regular Metroid Zero Mission for EC. This is the Metroid Zero Mission Randomizer. Now, I have a little bit of experience with this uh, randomizer. Shout out to Biospark for creating it. Links down below to all that stuff. Um, I actually do have a little bit of experience. I've done this before. Um, but when I, I had like 20 episodes or so during the quarantine. But then I, I goofed and I, uh, with uh, save states within uh, Visual Boy Advance. And I, for lack of better terms, I just. I screwed up my save states and it uh, didn't work. So I basically. Five hours worth of footage that I had basically just garbage. So we're going to be playing through this again. Uh, the way I have the randomizer set up is I have it set up so that energy tanks and missiles are all randomized within themselves and the abilities all randomized within themselves. So I won't be able to find like the charge beam where the uh, missile uh, capsules would be, for example. But I, haven't, I also haven't played Zero Mission in a couple of years now that I'm thinking about it. But all right, let's just uh, let's just do it. All right. I also have it set up so uh, the game can actually be uh, beaten. So hopefully I won't get a lot of screwed up item drops. Sure. Real. It's because I haven't played in such a long time. I promise. I mean, I am bad at video games, but I'm usually pretty decent at at this. I was all about emulation of this type of stuff back in the day. Another another thing is I don't have the. Um, Chozo statues to tell me where the next item is. We're gonna go ahead and save real quick. Still do single ball jumps. Kinda. I don't have the power grip yet, so it's gonna be a little strange. Alright, well, let's go get the long beam first since it could be literally anything. I guess, uh, I don't need to heal. Actually, I think I can still get through. As lame as that is to use missiles like that. Alright, but I also don't usually get missiles during this part. So, make quick work of this little mini boss. Yep, there's the Torian. <sighs> kind of goofed with the uh, space bar there. Which is why I saved at the beginning. With missiles, should be make should uh, make quick work of that one boss. Right. 
Ooh. Just start chugging. Okay, so I think I'm only gonna use the speed boost when I'm saving. Or during cutscenes or something, because uh I'm probably gonna end up killing myself at some point with it, using it like that. Oh, 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 because I already have missiles. Stop chugging. Oh, yeah! I never get the boss on this run. Um, right here. Power bombs. All right. All right. Yeah, I can. I can do some damage with that. All right. So then over here is another missile tank. Okay. I don't have. Well, I have power bombs, so I can go to this area early, I think. But if I do, I won't be able to come back. So I'm, I'm actually instead just going to explore everything I can. Just get some health real quick. The long beam would be nice, but it's technically not a required ability. Powerbomb tank, okay. Making uh, the last item that I get, get in the game. Oh, I just gotta st I stand right here on the edge. Come on! Thank you. I don't want to use power bombs until I have to. Actually, what, what what's the harm in it? Oh, the fact that they don't actually work on this enemy? I guess that would be the harm in it. Screw it. We'll use another one. Because I actually am almost dead. Actually, maybe the long, because I think the long beam might also be a damage modifier, too, wouldn't it? Okay. Alright, well, I got the gravity suit already. Right here is another missile tank. Yeah, it's... Oh, that's one thing I forgot. The most frustrating thing about this is how many more missile tanks there are in this game than health tanks. Stop falling into the acid, Samus. He said expectantly. So far, 
so good, I want to say. Just so far. Just the lack of knowledge is what's getting me so far. So actually, I'm going to save because I feel like I'm about to die. So. We'll see. An energy tank. Sure. The long beam. I can't get the long beam because I don't have bombs. Fuck. Okay, but now I know where it is. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know why it's chugging in some rooms. Alright. So then I think, I think now I go back and then up. Yeah, that sounds that sounds right. And then after that I go either down to Crade. No, I think the route is I go down to Norfair and end up in the Crateria. Because there might be a couple upgrades uh, over there that I can get. And if not, I definitely still have the uh, power bombs, which would allow me into a Chosidia. But then again, that's the route that I took last time, and it gave me a lot of problems. So I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I do not know what I'm gonna do, other than fall into some more acid. What I do know, though, is that I will go up here. No oh, fucking space turtles. Like, I'm not stressing my computer out, I don't think. Wait. Oh, no, okay. I was like, do I need the power... I don't usually need the power grip to get in here. So I was confused for a second. Sure. I can't get over there because I don't have... <sighs> Real smooth brain hours today, I think. So you know what? Screw it. Let's go down to the Norfair. I guess. Who knows, maybe the, maybe the bombs are like the first item in Norfair anyway. Alright. So far though, so good. Too, or, or do I have to fi get those at um? Yeah, I think I have to get those at actual recharge stations because I don't think that enemy would typically drop a power bomb anyway. So, no, no, I think those are purely just small and large health. Big brain. <laughs> Big brain plays, let's go. Save one more time. Hell yeah, let's... It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. No, this way. Let's take it to the right. To the left. Take it back. Those guys drop power bombs, though. That's useful knowledge. I could never realize, I could never pick, like, see what these enemies actually, I don't know what they're supposed to look like. They just look like 
old witches to me. I don't have to use power bombs all the time. I have missiles too. I there's an, I can't get I can't get that until I get the power grip. But I can't get the power grip until I get bombs because they because the power grip might not even be there in the usual place. So instead, we check out down here. Power bomb tank. I'm getting a lot of good stuff, but I'm not getting what I need. I need power ups. Chozo ruins. Wait. No. No, there's there's no way I just soft locked myself. Hold on. I Are you kidding me? Hold on. Gotta try slowing the game down. I don't believe this. I legitimately just soft locked myself. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Well, I guess it's a good thing I saved in the Norfair, but oh my god. It's going to be a little rough. This is this is actually going to be a rough challenge for me. But, you know, I think in the next episode, when I come back to this, I'm just going to reload from the Norfair and pretend like it didn't happen. Because it didn't. <laughs> well, you know, it seems like a good spot to end episode one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff to get me up on the charts. See you until next time. Hopefully I don't soft lock on episode two.